Here's a look at a uh, Cephalanthus occidentalis, and I think it's called buttonweed. I'll make sure it's in the description. Um, I'm going to try to zoom in for you here on that flower. It's in the Rubiaceae family. That flower caught my eye. I was just tooling along here and I saw this. It's a perennial. Uh, I was reading it's toxic to cattle. I'll put an IFAS article in that has a nice video that'll do a, a much better job at um, describing the plant. But I just wanted to catch it and uh, get it in my little uh, catalog of plants, weeds, and this is a Florida native, so it's not really a weed. Uh, and it ranges throughout the, in, the entire state, both this species and I think there's other um, cephalanthus that are out there. So anyway, I wanted to catch that flower there because it's pretty neat. Let me see if I can zoom. Whoop, go back in real quick, see if I can get you a good... Now if I don't tremor too much, maybe it's in focus. If not, forgive me. All right, so just down. You see the woody stems there. I guess they can get, uh, you know, not huge like an oak tree, but they can get bigger than this. We'll start with that. And I'm going to back up this bank here because I'm like right on a canal and I don't want to end up as lunch for something out there. So, all right, Cephalanthus occidentalis. And like I said, look below in the description if you want to learn more. Uh, I'll put the IFAS link in there for you guys.